Namaskar, this is a random guy from VIH group and I welcome you to the first new episode of Hack Talk. So let's get started. First of all, thank you everyone for making our YouTube family of thousand members. I really appreciate you all those who supported and subscribed to our YouTube channel and we believe we are going to provide you a lot of informative contents in the future as well and also a very very happy republic day to everyone hoping for you great future so before proceeding further our today's question is which operating system you use and why so share your answer in the comment section and we'll give a shout out to the best answer next day so let's start with the news so first news is related to logforge so recently there has been several attacks observed actively exploiting the logforge cell vulnerability so this is address the same. Several security agencies continue to warn about cyber criminals who continue to exploit the LogForge vulnerability in their attacks. Still, the LogForge web is not end. Now the next news is related to a rat. So according to the new research, a Brata Android rat begins life as a spyware, but was upgraded to a banking trojan and now was performing. Or perform a device factory set. So this cruel Android malware wipes phone after stealing money. So the Brata Android Rat was started in the previous days as a spyware, but nowadays it has been upgraded and working as a banking tool. So be safe from this kind of malware and trojans as well. Now the next news is coming from Canada. So the Canada government department for foreign affairs was hit by a cyber attack last week. While critical service remain accessible, access to some online services is currently not available as government system continue to recover from the attack. Now the next news is coming from UK. So the UK National Cyber Security Centre that lead UK cyber security mission is releasing NMAP scripting engine to help defenders scan for and remediate vulnerability system on their network. So I think this will be going to help a lot. So let's see how they are providing and uh, is it will be accessible for public or not. So now the next news is related to Mac OS. So a pro-democracy Hong Kong site was used to launch water hauling attack that planted a powerful Mac OS backdoor that researchers dubbed as Dazzle Spy. So be secure from this thing. Now the next news is related to Linux. So Linux vendor on Tuesday issued patches for a memory corruption vulnerability in a component called Polkit that allows an unprivileged login users to gain full root access on a system in its default configuration. So security vendor Qualysys found the flaw and published detail in a coordinated disclosure. So that's all for today. Hit down the comment box with your answer that we will ask in the starting. As always, thank you for watching this video. Jai Hind.